What's going on teachers and parents and welcome to Math Unlocked where I get to offer you strategies for teaching math for grades three, four, and five. My name is Miss McCarthy. I'm the creator of McCarthy Math Academy and I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click and make it stick for your students and y'all. That way you can get out there and support the students that you work with. In today's episode, we will walk through a problem involving subtracting mixed numbers with unlike denominators. This is a fifth grade skill, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. Okay, so here we have two and one fourth minus one and four sixths. And I believe this is the fourth video now that I'm putting out where we are either adding or subtracting with unlike denominators. So just to review, when we add or subtract, our denoms must match. The denominators must match, so let's check them out. We've got four and six, are they matching? No. So what we need to do is find the LCD. That stands for the least common denominator. To do that, we will skip count by our denominators until we find a matching value. So for the fours, I'll use my four song from the multiplication mashup. We've got four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28. Let's stop there. Let's see if we have a match. For six, we have six, 12, and 18. I'm gonna stop right there because I see a match. It is 12 and 12. So what we can do now is we can rewrite those fractions. So we have two and something twelfths minus one and something twelfths. Now, I know it looks like we're creating new fractions. We're actually creating equivalent fractions here. That way we can more easily subtract them. All right, so we've had the fraction 1 fourth. Our denominator was four, and then we got to 12. So how did we get there? We multiplied by, we've already done it. We've multiplied by one, two, three. So let's multiply our denominator by three. Same on the bottom, same on the top. So one times three equals three. In other words, two and one fourth is equivalent to two and three twelfths. Now we did, uh, we went from the denominator of six to, to the denominator of 12. How did we do that? By counting by six twice. So multiply times two on the, in the, denom in the denominator. Ooh, let me try that again. <laughs> multiply by two in the denominator and in the numerator, four times two equals eight. Okay, so now we are able to subtract because our denominators match. We're ready to rock and roll. But before we subtract, let's, tr with subtraction, we actually have to take a separate step to make sure that we can subtract our fractions first. So if we have three twelfths, can we take away eight twelfths? No, we would get a negative value, right? So what we need to do is regroup, just like we've been doing in subtraction for years, where we take one, give one. So we're going to take a whole from the two, now we have one, and we will give that whole to the three twelfths. But to do that, we'll break it into 12 twelfths. So instead we'll say plus 12 twelfths. So two and three twelfths, is the same as one and 15 twelfths. We have just regrouped that fraction to make it easier to subtract. Bring the other one down. Now we can subtract 15 twelfths minus eight twelfths. That would be seven twelfths. And also the whole number, one and one, would be zero and seven twelfths, but we don't really write it like that. The final answer would be seven twelfths right there. I also forgot to mention that a mixed number involves a whole number and a fraction. So I'm writing a numerator and a denominator there. So to review those steps, when we add or subtract with fractions, our denoms must match. When we add or subtract, our denoms must match. So we had to make them match by finding the least common denominator. That was 12. We rewrote the fraction to have a denominator of 12. We checked to see if we could subtract the fractions and we needed to regroup a little bit. So we did, and after we regrouped that fraction by taking one whole and giving that whole to the fraction by breaking it up a little bit, 
we were able to then successfully subtract those mixed numbers. So I hope that you found this episode to be helpful. And if you're looking for more support for this skill or any other fifth grade skill, stay tuned because I'm about to give you some next steps that you can take. I hope you found this episode to be helpful. If you did, please let me know by hitting the like button. And if you want to see more, consider subscribing to the channel. It's an easy way to support the content that I bring to you for free on YouTube. If you're a teacher or a parent, especially in Florida, you'll definitely want to check out McCarthyMathAcademy.com. Here is where I offer fast math freebies, including a playlist of fast math style problems and video lessons to support your teaching. For those ready to dive deeper, check out Taken on the Best, a monthly membership packed with video lessons, student guides, extra practice, error analysis videos, math tasks, mini assessments, and much more, which are all strategically aligned to Florida's best standards. With three levels, bronze, silver, and gold, you can choose the support that best fits your needs to promote student growth and skill mastery. Would you like to take taking on the best for a test drive? You can sample one standard per grade to find the right plan for you. Do that by simply requesting a free trial. And if you're gearing up for the final fast math assessment of the school year, Definitely check out Taking on the Fast, a 15-day countdown series with video lessons and fast-style math problems. Start with a sneak peek of day one, and when you're ready, you can make a one-time purchase. And if you're thinking about the gold plan for Taking on the Best, good news! Taking on the Fast is included in your membership. While many of my followers are in Florida, I know that there are teachers and parents everywhere looking for support. That's why I created McCarthy Math 155 with 155 video lessons for each grade level, third, fourth, and fifth. You can also sign up for a free trial to McCarthy Math 155 to explore it before signing up for a monthly membership. And finally, if you've enjoyed my math music videos on YouTube, you can also jam out to ad-free versions on my website. You can find all the links below and please feel free to email me with any questions that you have. I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Until then, get out there and make the world a little bit brighter in your own special way. See you next time.